what's going on guys as you can tell from the title of this video as the cat drops my phone down to the ground and just keep, continues to run around um, we are installing a cold air intake from Cobb into the Subaru WRX um, I don't know if I'm a big fan of Cobb honestly but every Subaru guy apparently puts that on there because I mean any Subaru I see they got some type of Cobb stuff on there Cobb exhaust Cobb Cobb something um, let me know guys did you see that she just attacked me look at that but let me know guys um, if Cobb is like better than any other intake for a Subaru I mean I really don't know because I mean personally I don't know their brand just hasn't really stuck out to me like Mishimoto or um, any other brand you know seems to well I, I really like Mishimoto I never had Mishimoto I've never had Cobb so I couldn't tell you like my preference um, but Mishimoto seems to really stick to me for some reason you know maybe it's just the name maybe it's more catchy than Cobb you know but we're about to head outside and install this my boy Zach is gonna be here he's guess what's in the box guys you should know because I told you but uh yeah we got the Cobb intake but I got out there set up all my stuff got my my tools here and a bag for all the bolts and some screwdrivers shouldn't be too difficult but we'll see we definitely will see uh, so we're in the daylight now got these two cob boxes well you can't see you can't see your homeboy there but we got these two cob boxes we're in the daylight I'm a little pale um, you should know I'm ginger so I'm gonna see see the sparkles in my skin real quick Okay. A box inside a box. This thing is really light. Both of these boxes together, probably like two pounds to be honest. So weight reduction, guys. Weight reduction. I'm trying to have a rally, rally Subaru out there. I guess go with the Cobb because it's obviously lightweight. Got some a pipe right here. Materials up. They, they gave me a license plate too. That's actually hella lit, and I might even install that as the license plate cover. Cause that's actually not too bad. I mean, look at that, guys. Cobb. I think I'm gonna have that on there for a while until I get like a custom Ginger King plate. But I'm guessing this is the filter. Um, that's a metal piece there. Oh gosh, I got some bad knees, guys. The Ginger King has bad knees. I wrestled for a couple years. I don't know why I have bad knees. That's probably the reason, but I don't remember when he's ever hurting when I was wrestling. But these days, you know, I'm an old man. Got these cramps. Just, it's terrible. They gave me another license plate, and this one. Um, looks like that's the box. Dang. Here's the other piece to it. Here's the other license plate, so if anyone wants a license plate, hit me up. I'll probably just put it on the Nashville site that I'm on. Here's this rubber piece right here, which uh, I've got no idea what that's going to be for. Got some bolts, which is actually lit. Um, they gave me some stickers, also lit. I'm gonna in put those on the car. Lit, two stickers. That's nice. I love stickers, so. Thank you, Veronica, for uh, your card thing here. Um, these bolts right there. And I guess we'll get cracking. Uh, for the first part of this, you need a flathead screwdriver. So you're gonna take off this filter to the stock one. All right, so we got this um, filter off. It just forces the air into the stock um, intake box. Let me know 
if this is some jank stuff or it comes stock like this because I don't know but it looks pretty jank to me I think the guy who owned this car before me I don't know what he did on you're either gonna have two screws or two clips on mine I had two clips um, you just pop those out with a flathead screwdriver you need it either way um, and then you're gonna want to take these hoses out um, and I believe these as well and unclip this so that's the next step all right so um for this job i definitely recommend a extension um yeah and not a small extension i don't know what size this is uh, i want to say this is like three inches uh probably like a six inch extension you need um, cause that was honestly, that sucked getting that out cause all these hoses are in the way that you need to take out. Oh, I'm getting lightheaded now. Um, take this box out for the intake. Take the clamps off right here for the sensor. Um, and then this clamp holding it tightly together, which will be, will look like this. You just want to unscrew it with a flathead. There's two of them. One right here, one right here. Pop these hoses off. Um, and then there's two bolts. I don't know if you can see one bolt right there and the other gonna be right there. Um, take those off and then I believe you should be good to take this off. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we're learning as we go, so we'll see real quick. All right, so uh, sweating a little bit now, like 100 degrees outside, but um, it's out so that's a plus um, you got to get that tube out you just got to shake it out manhandle it you know and then you can go ahead and pull this out as well um, and then I'm pretty sure from there you just start installing the uh, the new cob one um, and also it recommends that you um, get a tune before you drive the car like super hard or anything like that so I'll drive it for you guys today, but I'm not going to drive it super hard. Maybe I will. I probably, probably am not going to because it says you do need a tune once you get the new intake on. But I'm sweating out here, guys. The doggo is sweating as well, but she doesn't want to go inside. I try to bring her inside, and she just, she just won't go inside. So um, she's out here trooping, trooping it out with me. I got her some water, a little bowl. She's chilling in the somewhat shade which is probably just like 95 degrees but I mean you know it's a hot day out here all right guys so after minutes of sweating I assembled the um, fucking box to go together and the intake go to, to go together we have our homeboy Zach here um, for moral support um, we're about to hopefully install that real quick um, into the the pipe uh, stay tuned guys stay tuned it's hot as balls guys do this in a um, air conditioned area like your garage shaded anything like that I'm dead I only have about two more things to put on to it but I'm dead I'm grabbing it worse use it's hot as F outside I can't do it anymore the board's taking a 15 like I'm at work right now, outside, slaving away, you know, but that's what I'm doing, but I gotta, I gotta munch on this, this orange juice real quick, orange juice is my favorite drink, guys, so, nothing beats orange juice, man, maybe some Gatorade, be nice, some ice, probably gonna hop in the pool right after this, cause it's, it's hot. Missy's been inside for the past like hour and she's still puffing and puffing like that. So I'll take my time going back outside real quick. <clears throat> All right guys, <clears throat> unfortunately I didn't get to show you guys yet the finished product when we were done because one, it was hot outside. I was ready to go to the pool. We went to the pool real quick and then we got home, played some magic and I was sunburnt even though I used sunscreen but 
I was, I, I'm Pill, still am Pill. Get working on my farmer's tan right now since I was outside working on the intake for two hours. So I got burnt for those two hours and now I'm red. Got some hemp oil on, hemp nation, hemp lotion. I'm gonna put these stickers on, put the license plate on later, not today. Um, but I'm just gonna pop the hood and show you guys the after. So this is what it looks like. Um, adding those extra three horsepower that's going on. Hopefully soon I'll get it tuned, get the um, filter changed out, maybe some other stuff done. Um, but it looks pretty clean. I mean, just looks pretty standard. You know the black. I, I like it. I think it looks nice. Can't hate it, you know? Can't hate it. But it does look clean. Um, if I was to really customize it, I'd want it to be like a either a gold, like a bright gold, um, or maybe a green. But that'd be pretty dope, you know. But thank you guys for watching. Um, if you can, subscribe, like. Oh, you can see the the farmer's tan coming in, guys. Yeah, the redness looks good. Looks good, you know. Red, red's my color. It looks great on me. Um, but thanks for watching.